What is going on guys? It's the Bad Dragon. We're back continuing our series with Italy to see if we can win ourselves the Six Nations. Last week we played England and it was a very interesting opening round. We almost managed to get our bonus point try. We didn't manage to get there and actually conceded a try from almost nothing from, uh, from England. So a couple of things to work on in terms of this Italy team, but this week we are going up against France. Now in terms of the squad between rounds, of course we've had a bit of a fitness drop because some players were playing in the last round as well, but you know what? I'm actually kind of content with keeping a lot of these players on. Something I've taken away from the last game was maybe more substitutions were necessary because towards the end of that game, I felt fatigue was definitely beginning to hit the team, so we might make a few more substitutions uh, this round. The other the teams have already been playing some games so far. Uh, in terms of round two as it stands then, Ireland have beaten Scotland 38 points to 18. We are the second game uh, of the weekend, but a home game against France absolutely got the advantage going our way. Can we make it two from two? Italy versus France, let's get this game kicked off and underway. Alrighty, here we are then guys. Italy versus France. Italy at home. We have a decent advantage here. Italy going to be playing in the blue. France taking on the white kit today. It's going to be a, a good game. We're hoping for a couple of shifting. Oh, I mean, the attack last week wasn't that bad. Playing the, uh, the wingers was certainly the way to score tries. France, I'm expecting to be a bit of a different animal to England because England kept kicking the ball away last time, uh, which I don't really expect France to be doing too much. I don't think they'll be that generous to us in this game. So I'm expecting France to play extremely hard, probably go through the forwards. There are a couple of players on this team as well that can just wriggle through tackles. People like Villiers on the wing is a bit of a nightmare in this game to, uh, to stop. So we can't really afford to be letting them have a lot of room. Defensively, I'm probably going to set up uh, a little bit wider than we did against England, but I'm still going to uh, keep it a little bit tighter than I do generally in games. Um, I might even set my attack up to be uh, a similar sort of width. So we actually have the uh, the kickoff here. Let's go for a cheeky high one and see if we can get someone underneath this. I'm at right. Let's set up my uh, my width. Oh, is that going to blow back towards us? What an incredibly harsh uh, kickoff there. I actually thought the wind was with us. I wasn't paying too much attention to it. Right. First scrum. <laughs> Just to get us uh, started on a real good front foot. Let's uh, see if we can beat a French scrum uh, on their own pudding. Let's see what happens here. Right. Come on, boys. Get over the scrum. Legend difficulty scrums are a nightmare in this game. So we'll see how we get on. That's a good start. They'll beat us on the second one. Can we beat them on the third one? Nope. Okay. It's beginning to go backwards. But... They haven't made a lot of ground from that. Oh, it's Antoine Dupont. Absolutely. Flying off the line. Let's try and... Uh, right, let's spread our defensive line a little bit wider. Oh, they've actually switched that left. I wasn't expecting that. And we might have just given away a yellow card tackle. Wow, if we didn't expect this game to be tough. <laughs> let's make it harder on ourselves. Why not? Canone there with a bit of a horrendous tackle, to be fair. That is awful. It's not even a dumb tackle. He just suplexed him. Oh, man, that actually also found touch as well. I feel like uh, Padovani potentially could have kept that in. Right, we're off to a, a pretty dramatically bad start. I'm not going to lie. Let's see how we can recover from this. We've got to try and get this out of our half to start off with. Bruno takes it to the line. Uh, let's just try and get that. Oh, that's well. <laughs> it's not the best kick, but it's uh, better than nothing. Let's see if we can do uh, another line-out steal. Oh, that's pretty good from us. Right, Rootsa, you're going to have to uh, step up here, boy. You're pretty much our only uh, line-out jumper. Now, with Kanone also off. Zanon. Oh, I don't know if that pass needed to come. That's a good cover tackle, though. Yuani got a lot to do on his own, but actually manages to do it. Can't get round Ramos in that backfield, though. Okay, we've actually managed to make some ground. Let's drop this back and let Brex just kick this downfield. We'll try and get a bit of distance here. We've got to run down that yellow card. Let's get the tackle. Lovely interception from Zanon. Italy pulling together in this game already. They had a bit of an uphill battle to climb. They've gone wide on the wing. Oh, I've got to try and get down for Villiers. What a great tackle there from a prop <laughs> to get across for uh, the Villiers. Right, they're going to go through the middle through some bigger boys. We're not gonna, even going to compete at that one for now. Keep the men out wide. Oh, don't manage to get the tackle. That's a better tackle. Going to have to spread left. I don't want uh, the winger out here on his own. Right, Canone has come back on the field. They've still not fixed that yellow card issue. Referee, is he uh, massively in touch there, ref? You want to open your eyes? Come on, boys. Get in there for a ruck. Doesn't look like it. We are being put under the cosh. France wanting to play very, very quickly here. Let's go for a good sporadic defense. Okay, that's decent. Keep spreading to the right. Going to have to get an early tackle in there. Oh, and I think that's Vakatau. I think Vakatau is still on the uh, the French team for this game. 
Okay. Don't let him through. Good tackle. Oh, man, Villiers going to be a nightmare on that wing. Spread left here. I don't trust them to uh, try and go up the blind side on that one. That's fine. Well held. Well, we've survived the yellow card without giving away uh, any points. I'm pretty happy with how that's gone. But we are getting uh, pinned down in the backfield here. Okay, Canone riding the tackles. Got to make up for that uh, earlier yellow card infringement. Definitely put us on the back foot. Oh, man, we can't win a ruck here at all. Come on, boys. We've got a lot of hard work to do. We are still stuck in it. I don't even know if we've been in their half as of yet. We really need to try and get up the field. We need to try and get the ball back. Oh, well, they have gone actually. Oh, I did not expect them there. There was potentially a clean line through there. Damien Pinot will get put into touch. What an exciting opening half this has been. This has been a, uh, a lot of fun to get involved with. Right, let's go to the back. We've got our full line-out set of players back. Let's spread it wide again. Varney Garbisi takes it to the line, not managing to make any crap. My God, we are not going to win any rucks in this game. We are on uh, a different level in this one. Get across that tackle, man. Again, no one is on Villiers' wing. Uh, I might need to... Oh, Stephen Varney decided he was going to go for the glory himself there of that interception. Nearly threw the team under the bus. Okay, let's spread wider because uh, at the minute we're still too bunched up and they are finding it a little bit too easy to just get around the outside. Drag an extra man across here. Man, there's so many two-on-one tackles. Let's see where France take this one. They'll go one-off runners is fine with us. They're not going to do a lot of damage with the one-off runners. The wider angles is where we're struggling. Good tackle there on Cyril by Garbisi. Oh, and we got the uh, the turnover right. Let's see if we can ship this one out. Out to Yuani. Kick it downfield. Let's at least get in their half at some point in this game. Okay. Oh, don't let him through. Look at this for a counter run there by the French fullback. Manages to run it all the way back into our half. Oh, as Robert Enterback showing off himself there with some cheeky handling skills. Okay, well, we've got numbers out here, but somehow Villiers does get the ball. We should be able to get over this. He says, come on, boys, get in there. What are you doing? Oh, just watching it. Got to get in there better. Got to get more tackles over the ball. Oh, no, don't get in there either. This is going to be a, a hard fight. <laughs> come on, boys. Let's try and get some points on the board before uh, half time. Oh, don't let him through. Look at this little interlinking play with one another and everything. This is very different to the England team that we played in week one. They'll go again through the forwards. France say no. Come on, boys. They are not going to kick it out themselves, which I'm kind of uh, expecting. I thought they've been on the front foot for a lot of this game. You'd be expecting them to want to play on. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't be that sad if they actually just kicked it out. But they go out wide again as I think that's Vakatawa again tries to go up that wing. Uh, the right wing has been a bit of an issue for us so far. Uh, Villiers has certainly been making himself known on that wing. Oh, lovely little play again by the French team. They are finding holes in this defensive line from Italy. They're going to spread it wide. That's okay. Oh, they've gone for the grubber kick. That's uh, an interesting choice there. Oh, it's absolutely going to be completely fine if uh, no one in the Italian forwards pack wants to get on it. Look how loose we are. They get done for a forward pass, and uh, thank God at this point, because we are really struggling to hold on here. Okay, I think some changes needed. Uh, let's get five on. I might even start five for game three, because he seems to have been better so far. Um, what else do we do? Let's put Federico Mori back on that wing, because uh, so far Bruno just hasn't been anywhere. Uh, I haven't really had a lot of possession on the ball to know who's uh, who's playing well and who's not doing so well. Canone's already on his yellow card. Um, I could actually put David CC on just in case. I can't afford to have another yellow and get a red card. Let's take him off. Um, we'll leave Giovanni Lucata for now. Uh, do I put someone else on? I'll leave it alone for now. There's a couple of swaps. We'll see what difference that makes in this game. France are going to pin us back, but we're just going to go uh, for a bit of a counter run here. I didn't really want Fiverr to receive the ball there. They uh, targeted the uh, the hooker, which I wasn't expecting. Right, Iwani. Go for a little up, up and under here. Okay, and chasing his ball hard and catches his own ball. Okay, that's good, but nobody with him again. That has been the story of this game so far for, uh, for Italy. Just not getting involved in those rucks at all, but we are making ground. Uh, oh, again, can't compete. I mean, they're, they're short on numbers this side. Just getting through too many tackles. The uh, the missed tackle count certainly larger uh, our way than the French teams. That's a decent tackle. We won't compete. 
We'll just let them reset here. Right, get off the line quick. Oh, that's a good tackle. Putting them backwards. They're actually forcing them to kick it now. That is an immense box kick uh, from Antoine Dupont. But Padovani is going to counter run this back up. Lamaro. Is there going to be a gap in the middle? Garbisi showing off some dancing feet. Let's spread it wide early on. Fischetti gets it out to Iwani. It's one on one. Fischetti's on the inside. Iwani goes himself. We have the opportunity for the first try of the game. We'll just run it under the post because I don't believe <laughs> we're going to get a lot of points in this game. We'll take what we can get. Uh, and wow, what against the head of the uh, the runner play this has been. Yuani getting the ball from Fischetti out on the wing. A little grubber kick around the outside of the fullback. And uh, got to run it back under. Danny Pinot actually got all the way back from that after he was actually the one who missed the uh, the initial tackle on Fischetti. He actually got all the way back there to put uh, Ioanni under pressure. The French backs are certainly dangerous. Garbisi kicks it over. 7-0. Okay, we've got a bit of a buffer zone. That's a poor a kick. We've shaken it up now. The momentum shift is coming our way. This is what we, uh, what we want to be seeing. Okay, we'll go for a scrum because we'll tie in a lot of their players. Um, as soon as Fiverr comes on, it seems to make a big difference in this team. I might start Fiverr, but then do you want the impact from the bench? Um, I'm just not really sure what the best method is. Right, let's go for this. We're going to spread it left. We're going to go through uh, through Stain. We're going to try and run this one left. We probably should have a bit of an overlap. Well, we're just going to run it himself. Stain, one-man army taking it in. Right, we should have everyone with him as well. Spread it left quickly to Yuani again, the try scorer. Tries to get round one somehow. Staying in... Oh, no, he's not managed to stay in field. I talked too soon. I thought we managed to do well there. Let's see if we can steal a line out. Yes, we do. David Cece was the right move to come on there. Right, Garbisi. Oh, can he recover his own kick? Manages to get the ball back off Steen. Okay, here we go. Zanon has dropped back in the pocket. Here we go. Let's take a cheeky drop goal. Not challenged at all. We'll take another three. It's about the wins, guys. We suddenly have gone from being in desperate trouble in this game to suddenly... We are 10 points in the clear. We now need... Oh, another awful kickoff from the French team. I think everyone has struggled today in terms of the kickoffs. It's very hard to kick into the wind. We do have the wind behind us now as well. That's another important thing to uh, take into account because that actually might come in useful uh, for clearing our own lines. Right, another scrum. If it worked once, let's do it again. But this time I am going to spread out to the uh, the right if possible with the, uh, with the number eight. Let's see if we can drop this one back. Okay, let's go right this time. Stain. Runs it out. Zanon gets it out to Brex. Tries to split the defenders. Mori. Pass back inside. Lamaro takes it to the line. But France so good in that breakdown scenario. Oh, I tried to run it out. Zanon, though, manages to get there. And again, we don't win the ruck. The rucking system in this game. I'm really looking forward to see what they do in, uh, in Rugby 24 to mix up this rucking system again. That is another unbelievable kick from Antoine Dupont. He has put us under some big pressure in terms of that kicking. Um, I might even just try and get this one away and just try and put them back down. They've got to, like, play out of this one now. So, Brex, let's just try and take this into a contact. There we go. That's fine. Let's get over it. Right. Garbisi. Let's put this one down the field, boy, and put them under some pressure. There we go. That might be a 50-22. That might be absolutely brilliant. Is that not a 50-22? Yes, it is. Where has this come from? This opportunity has suddenly shown itself from absolutely nowhere. Right, we're going to try and go for a driving mall, but France managed to steal it through the big old long arms of Gregory Aldrit, but suddenly we've stolen it back. We've gone from winning no rucks to we can now win a counter ruck in their own 22. Zanon doesn't manage to get the ball out wide. Come on, Italy, spread it out wide. Ioani, one-on-one -on -one with Damien Pinot. Got to try and show the footwork. Oh, gets held up just short. Okay, suddenly this game has come to life. It has taken about 60 minutes for us to get here. But we're doing okay. Hold the ball till late. Ambrex hits the line. Doesn't manage to find the gap. We'll set it up again. Another wide out. There's got to be room. Let's go quickly here. We'll spread to the left wing. Oh, he doesn't manage to get the pass away. And we've been turned over. Dupont will clear again. No doubt it's going to be another brilliant kick as it's been all game. Iwani going around in circles. I didn't know which way to go. We'll try and go right because I think we've got the extra man. And Zanon hitting the gap. Oh, what a great cover tackle. Doesn't manage to find the room. Let's go to the right. We'll go through Federico Mori. We'll just reload here. And I think we're actually going to go for a cheeky crossfield kick. No, they've covered it well enough. I was looking uh, down the scope of that one, though. 
There was the potential for a cheeky crossfield kick. It's for Scatty. Manages to find room. Suddenly, Italy have sprung to life in the final 20 of this game. And they are making an absolute nuisance of themselves all over the field. Let's go again quickly. Sisi, Ruzza, Yuani. Oh, what a great tackle by Damien Pinot. Not letting him through there. Okay, we do have the wind behind us. We're going to go for Steven Varney to get a crossfield kick. The wind will blow with us here doesn't pay off for us well the final whistle is going to go we are 10 0 in the lead so bonus point is off the table uh and the loss is actually off the table we will be able to win this game there's nothing they can do about it uh and i'm kind of tempted to see if i can get this one back and just kick it off the field to be honest 10 0 is better than i was expecting this game to go it's better than i was expecting this game to go about halfway through oh he's just stood still that's a massively big decision to just stand there and take it in the ribs France have to play on. They know they can't kick it. We'll just keep driving them back. It's all about defensive now from our standpoint. Let's see if we can just keep driving them back. What's he going to do? Oh, he left that pass late. That was a good move. They're shipping it out wide. Don't let Villiers through. That's a good little shutdown there. We're not going to compete. Let them work through the phases. Look at our defensive line. It's the best it's been all game. <laughs> they obviously just didn't have the confidence in themselves going into this game at the start. Uh, Italy have actually improved later on into this game. It's been kind of incredible. Maybe those substitutions at halftime were absolutely the right way to go. Another brilliant tackle. France find themselves on their own trial line. Desperately trying to escape. I'm going to wait for the outside pass. They don't go for it. The rest of our team doing well. They're still trying to play it out. Even from their own 22. They don't manage to get out. He's tackled back over his try line. And we take a 10 nil victory from what felt like the jaws of defeat with an early yellow card going against Italy. Uh, what an incredible comeback there. That was very well played by Italy. I couldn't believe how misshapen we were through the entire of that first half. Yellow cards given away. Um, and then out of nowhere, we managed to get a drop goal, a try. Uh, and then right at the end of that game, in the final 10 minutes, we saw how good the defensive setup was for Italy. Just a straight wall of players. Um, and just worked incredibly well for us. So, Italy will go two uh, from two. Let's have a, a little bit of a look at the uh, the rest of the uh, the fixtures and what's gone on across the weekend. So, currently in first place, Wales uh, played 3-1-3. Three, three. They've played their next round game already. Um, Ireland are down in third, having played three and lost two. France have played three and lost two. England have played three and lost two. Scotland have played two and lost two. Wow, this is shaping up to be a really interesting uh, Six Nations. So we beat uh, France 10 points to nil. Wales beat England 40 points to 30. What an incredible game that sounds like. I really wish you could go back and watch some of the uh, the other games. Um, but wow, so we are up against... Uh, it's seemingly going to be us maybe spreading out. If we can get one more win, we'll be on maybe 12 points if we get the win. Wales are currently on 14 points, uh, but next week we're going up against Scotland, currently bottom of the table, um, so they're probably the, one of the teams we have our best chance against, but I've been so impressed by how Italy have played in, uh, in that game against France. If you've enjoyed this one today, guys, remember to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the rest of the videos as soon as they come out. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.